step advanced sketching techniques. Today, students, we are going to sketch out a photorealistic karaoke scene. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is draw the microphone. Microphones start with the letter O and then some cross hatching here. And then we're going to do a V which at the bottom has a space between it. Then we're going to use a lowercase i to connect the two sides of the V. And now for the wire, we are going to draw a long lowercase letter L that is curved. And then for the other side, a flipped letter C, which is stretched or smushed out and which runs alongside, which is flipped relative to the vertical axis, runs alongside. So there's our microphone wire. And then we need to draw a stage. For a stage, we're going to do the letter Z, but just the top part of the letter Z. We're not going to do the middle diagonal part or the bottom part. Then we're going to do a letter I, lowercase. We can hide that dot so we don't waste it up here in the microphone. And then another letter I on this side. Karaoke activities and fun have TV screens to see the words. We will draw that. We're going to do a sideways letter L rotated to the left or counterclockwise 90 degrees. And then another letter L which is rotated to the right or clockwise 90 degrees. And when they meet, they form a square which has two equal sides. Then we need a TV stand which is going to be the letter O, which is sideways and it's missing the middle part on the right side or what would normally be the right side, but it's rotated. And then a square, which is missing the bottom and the top because we already have those here from the letter O and here from the letter Z. So we don't need to waste excess. Oh, and I have my graphite sketching device again, which is a win. Now let's draw some audience members. This scene borrows from my memory. I was lucky enough to go to a karaoke uh, party or a karaoke bar one time. So we'll start by sketching yours truly. And I really enjoyed a strong hair parting, a parting of the hair. It shows character, it shows will power, and it shows class. I did like to shave back behind my head. This is called the tap technique. Feel free to tap along. And I had a scar about right here, which you're welcome to learn more about if you check out the family music night scene. Next are gonna be drawn, if you're looking towards the back of the person, two lowercase letter I's. We can hide the dots in here, so I see that. And for the neck, we're going to do a circle. And then a letter C, which is flipped with respect to the vertical axis and then rotated about 45 degrees counterclockwise. And the same on the other side, the exact same. In other words, you do this side exactly like you do this side. And I'm sure I was clapping my hands. So we're going to Follow along here if you're a little nervous or unsure about uh, how to do this. This takes time and patience. I'm just going to sketch here. Remember your thumb is going to be the biggest finger that's going to be on the inside. And we have five fingers on each hand for a total of five, for a total of 10 fingers. Of course, we do have a thumb. Now we can't draw sound and we can't draw movement in drawings. That's one of the key things I like to, or want to stress to my students, but we can draw action lines and impact lines. So we can draw action lines here. We can also, there's no law that says you can't write words to help convey your emotion or what's going on. So we can write clap, clap, clap. And for the exclamation points, we're going to do three 
lowercase letter i's, which are rotated 180 degrees, or equally said, they are flipped upside down. And what is a bar with karaoke unless you don't have a table and alcoholic drinks? No, I do not drink alcohol, but certainly other people were drinking that night. And we will go ahead and draw to some domestic beer bottles. Oh, and the wire is going to need to go to a speaker. So a speaker is just going to be a square, which is missing the top and the left sides. And then we're going to do the hatch technique. Now again, we can't draw sound. But we can write the word sound to convey that there's sound coming out of here. And to get our arrow, we used a lowercase i without the dot. We can hide the dot again over here in the microphone. And then an upside down letter V, which is kind of pulled or stretched apart uh, near the top, or in this case, near the bottom. On this particular night, I was lucky enough to see my grandmother and my grandmother's friend in front of the karaoke microphone. As some of you may know, my grandmother preferred to wear a ghost costume. Everywhere she went, it was just her thing, it was her style, it's what made her happy, and it's what made my grandmother's friend happy, I suspect. And she had this beautiful hair that she would hairspray up out of a hole out of the top of a ghost costume. She did cut out holes to see out of, and she stitched them in with black mesh so she could see you, but you could not see her. This worked to her advantage. And she also cut out a hole to do responsibilities that her mouth needed to participate in, including breathing. Also stitched some mesh. She did have human legs. And I specifically remember on this night she wore her beautiful satin red glitter slippers. Let's put a star here to help them shine. My grandmother chose to have hairy legs. That's a cultural choice. And she also always placed one of her hands inside of a mitten. Just another one of her things that she preferred to do. Also in attendance on this day and up performing for the crowd, a la Bon Jovi, was my grandmother's friend. My grandmother's friend had two eyes. Two retina. Yeah, bushy eyebrows, not the most bushy I've ever seen, but nonetheless, they were bushy. And he, sh he shaved his head. That's why I shaved my head, kind of in honor of my grandmother's friend, who I consider family. He had an ear. The hardest thing to draw is the human nose. And he had a lip. Now, no light can enter the ears in the ear holes. That's why these are darker, correct? Correct. And he most often had stubble. And he did not wear a shirt. But he had a big belly and a big old hole there, a big old stretched out belly button. He had a nipple and another nipple for a total of two nipples. And he loved wearing jean shorts. It was just his thing.
And one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen was he grew out the hair just on the nape or lower back of his neck. And every other part of his hair was shaved. And we're just going to draw some musical notes. And the song that they were singing that night was Wind Beneath His Wings. So we can draw maybe a bird here, because a lot of times with karaoke songs, they have images of nature to just get you in the singing mood. One of my favorite songs I would have sang if, if I was allowed up here is Camp Town Songs, Camp Town Songs, Do-Da. One of my favorites that I'd like to bang out on the piano. Now we're just going to add some filler here to, as best I remember, there was a door. And outside the door there was a sidewalk. And it's where the cars parked to pull up and to come in and experience the joy of karaoke. And of course they were busy this night, so we're going to have several cars. Now as we move away from the art taster's perspective, things are going to need to get smaller, correct? Correct. And then maybe an ashtray here for the people outside wanting to smoke. And maybe a cracked beer bottle that accidentally fell. There was an interesting person right beside me who only had one side of their head that had hair. It's the most magical thing I had seen in a long time. They were raising their arms up in glee, enjoying my grandmother and my grandmother's friend's beautiful voice. My grandmother had a very deep voice, probably not the most appropriate for this song that night. And this was a large bar with different categories. So back here was another bar with a gentleman serving More alcohol to, to relax the spirit. Spirits to relax the spirit. A bartender's hands are always just a handshake away to help. And there are all sorts of magical post drinks to... And I'm sure he was skipping a step that night with this beautiful song, Wind Beneath His Wings. I'd like to correct the hair, because I want to do justice. I don't, I will have to discipline myself later. And this, this looks more appropriate. As my grandmother's friend did not have the thickness to appear as I just drew it. All right, anything else we need to add here? Of course, uh, what piece of fine advanced sketching is complete without a sun? So we're going to go ahead and draw a sun. Let's follow along if you'd like. Then we're going to do a letter I. The sun always adds allure and circumstance to your art. Now we're going to do a series of sideways M's. These are just going to be the wall decoration. And I wish it were spot mop. I would prefer it, but for the spotlight to shine on the stars of the night, we're just going to do a circle, and then a letter O, and then another circle on the right, surrounded by a square. Now we can't draw the movement of light in drawings, that's one of the things I like to stress to my students, but we can draw a light lines, and this just shows you that, that they were on stage. We can also uh, draw a shadow, where maybe my 
my grandmother's shadow was casting a, a wonderful, elegant shadow upon the crowd. And we'll do that right here. And maybe there was somebody passed out or somebody leaning, maybe somebody that had had one too many. So we'll just draw a backwards ball cap. Ball caps are going to have what's called a cap nipple on the top. We're going to do some upside down M's. And maybe this person had worked all night at the, f at the fish factory. We'll give them a nice beard. This is called complex shading. Uh, I would recommend not trying it. If you'd like a one-on-one -on -one session, which I have offered many times, I think uh, some of you should take me up on that. You can learn these more sophisticated techniques. Another complicated thing to draw is a human holding an object in their hand. Now we can't draw drunkenness or intoxication, but we can draw intoxication lines. And they're just gonna be a series of loose, almost like C's, just to show that he is inebriated. All right, well there you have it, folks. Oh, we do need to color. So let's do some coloring. Well, my grandmother's friend, by this point, had a very yellow, yellowish tinted skin. Notice I'm not coloring the lips, nor the nips. The lips, nor the nips. Maybe that'll be my autobiography. Would you buy it? We're not going to color the blue jeans. What else is yellow? This lady, uh, we could color her yellow just to add some. She was more of a burgundy. We certainly can take some creative license. Well, I think this was a hot rod car. There's oftentimes are yellow. Spilled beers can be yellow. Some cigarette manufacturers make yellow cigarettes. This bird on the karaoke screen was likely yellow. My grandmother's shoes were red or her high heel sandals, but red is a sister of yellow, so it's close enough. And this burly gentleman here maybe had a yellowish reddish beard and a yellow shirt. What color is beer, if not yellow? So let's color those in. And maybe yours truly shirt was none other than the color yellow that night. Anything else we see? I believe we've got it. All right, well, there you have it, folks. You've just helped me sketch a photorealistic scene of karaoke fun. This particular scene borrows from my memory because it was a special night when I got to leave the house and see my grandmother and my grandmother's friend on stage singing away, being stars. Well, if you were unable to obtain the sophistication, elegance, and overall advanced style that you see here today, do not fret. Maybe try to play the guitar or try something else for a little bit and then come back to it. Do not give up. I've been doing this for a long time. And as I always say, I hope you have a rest of your day.